Hello everybody, how are you doing? I'm glad to have you with me today. Just want to run through very briefly a uh, our most recent website design that we did for the Southwest Symphony and Corral that you see here. As you see the interface, which is very important, is uh, nice and clean. The front page right here will change depending on your needs. This can have many things on it, like the message from the president of the orchestra or CEO or whatever that you want. As you can see, they have a concert coming up. So the home landing page, which is very, very important because this is what people will, the first thing that they see, as you see, it's to sell tickets um, to this event for the Jenny Oates Baker Wish Upon a Star concert coming up uh, next week for the Southwest Symphony. See, it's very clean. Um, tells you exactly what it is. You can order tickets right here. You can listen to the promo done by Classical Music Discoveries, and you can also go to Jenny Oaks Baker website to find out more about her and what she has to offer. This one does have rotating pictures right here of the orchestra, so you get a good idea of what the orchestra is about. Uh, title up here is nice and clean. See the format is not too busy, not too color colorful, so this is very appealing to the eye. Mary Moy want to uh, appeal to an adult, not to someone watching Saturday morning cartoons, which many websites do. This is also linked to their email address and to their Facebook site, uh, Facebook site as well. And also they can search for anything on the website right here. So it's also just very clean, very inviting website. The tabs on here are your more traditional tabs. As you see, they do have drop downs if you hover over them. Uh, second right, right here is concert dates. Very important. Everybody going to your organization wants to know when you're performing. This organization has two more concerts coming up, so we have those. In the upcoming concert section, shows exactly where their uh, concerts are. Uh, they can click on these links for the dates and be automatically taken over uh, to order. Uh, tickets for any one of these concerts. As you can see, the interface is still very clean, uh, very appealing. Click on tickets right here. We'll take them directly over to the box office. Some we can arrange to buy tickets online. That's no problem. If you have a box office that sells tickets to you uh, for your events, we can link directly over there so they can buy the tickets right there. And see, this is also very clean. It just takes one click to go right over to buy tickets for this. It doesn't involve a lot of clicking uh, and confusion. Uh, believe it or not, the hardest thing for this orchestra to do on their previous website was to order tickets. It was a it was an impossible process to find where to buy tickets to their concert. But as you can see right now, it is very clean. One click takes you right over to the box office right here to buy tickets for your event. Very, very easy to do. I also show the broadcast that they have on our show for classical music discoveries. Uh, so you can listen to the orchestra, uh, see exactly what they're doing, uh, etc. I also links directly to the store. Right here, so they can purchase uh, um, recordings of the orchestra. They sponsor a show with us every month called the Southwest Symphony Hour, and they can buy recordings. These recordings also help support the orchestra, so it's very easy to uh, buy recordings to their website. And one more click goes right back to the Southwest Symphony website. Personnel. Of course, everybody wants to be featured, of course, on their people need to know who's in charge uh, of the orchestra or the organization or learn more about you if you're a, a solo artist. Uh, here they can click on see exactly who is involved in the orchestra right here and list their uh, full. As you can see the musicians right here can submit their bios or changes to this list right here. Uh, since this just started up we don't have any bios yet. But how this will work is that uh, you know if you want to see a bio on NAP right here who plays trombone you can just click on that right here and then we'll take you over to another page so you can learn more uh, about that let's go back to the personnel and you see it cleanly again it's very clean it tells why you want to meet the orchestra add your bio uh, 
uh, see the list. We're going to have a, another button right here for the corral as soon as I get that list from them as well. So you can meet the people on uh, the members of the corral. Shows the conductor, the CEO, J.J. Abernathy right there. Shows the board of trustees, uh, the founder of the orchestra right here, Dr. Norman Clausen, and, and something about him. Again, it's all very clean. Photos. You can see photos of concerts that you have. This is their magical Mozart concert that, that was extremely popular. actually sells the uh, most recordings for them as well. And a few pictures from that concert right here. So people can look at the pictures and know what to expect when they go to a concert. Uh, more right here. Patrons and sponsors, of course, are important for any organization right here. And list their uh, sponsors and patrons. Right here is one that is clickable right here to the Utah Division of Arts and Museums. You can click on that, and then they can go find out more about them. And list everybody here that has uh, uh, sponsors or patrons of the orchestra over here, which, is, of course, is very, very important to any organization. Mission. The mission statement, vision, and values is, of course, important to any organization as well, so we know exactly what that organization is all about, and it lists that here. And then also we do have a blog section, <coughs> which they never had before. And so you can leave uh, comments. This one has two comments right here. Um, it says, I really like your new website. Vast improvement over the older one. I have to agree. <laughs> the older one was very difficult to navigate. Um, I wish I could show you what it looked like before, but that website is no longer active. Uh, also, love the new website, extremely easy to navigate, interactive, and fun. Best orchestra website I've seen. Many are either too amateurs or too difficult to find anything you want. This one makes sense. Thanks again. And I really, really like that statement from Susan G. I don't know who you are, but thank you, because that's exactly what we're going for in all the websites that we create. We want to make something that's clean, that's easy to navigate, and above and beyond, here at Classical Music Discoveries, we are musicians, okay? I play in an orchestra, I'm a trombonist, I solo trombone many places, I, I conduct, uh, I, you know, I'm a judge at many places uh, for musicians, so we are all musicians here on the staff, from the top down to the very bottom. Uh, we are all musicians. And so we are musicians that work for musicians, so we understand your needs and wants and exactly uh, um, how your website should be set up for you. We listen to you, we make suggestions, we work together because we understand. We're, we're your people. We know what you're all about. So I want to thank you for listening to this, and I hope you got some involved with it. Uh, if you want to ask any questions or just fill out the contact form on back on our website, back there, and uh, we'll get in touch with you. So please, have a good day.